tonight from Las Vegas, Nevada. Super Bowl 58. Presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Indianapolis Colts taking on the champions from the NFC, the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. Well, CD, what a turnaround for this Colts team. Of course, back in the Peyton Manning days, they were always near the top of the AFC fighting to get to the Super Bowl. Well, now they're back for their first Super Bowl appearance since the 2006 season. And you're right about this franchise. Division championships galore, but they sure would like to add to their trophy case with another Lombardi trophy. And they've only won it twice, Super Bowl 41 and Super Bowl 5 mixed in with a tough loss against New Orleans when they went for another one. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, exciting times in Atlanta. Their third trip to the Super Bowl, and obviously, Charles, they want to erase the bad memories from the last time they were there against Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. That's the one that sticks out for all Falcons fans. That's the one that sticks out for all NFL fans. A comeback for the ages by the Patriots. But this is the third time for the Falcons, 0-2. Remember, first time, Super Bowl 33. They lost to John Elway and the Broncos in Miami. The Colts offense heading out here in the big one, the Super Bowl. And the focus of the offense all season long has been this man, their star wide out. And he was flat unconscious last week. I mean, all the touchdowns he had should be illegal. Something. <laughs> right. it's Never seen a game like that for a receiver. Yeah, that makes two of us. All the years in the league that we've covered, we haven't seen anything even approaching that. Possibly you could have sold me if you told me a running back did it, carrying the ball. We've seen things like that before. But have a pass catcher? Incredible. I mean, that's a great season in one game. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how is your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Colts are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And on the grandest of stages, with the whole world watching the Super Bowl, they come out and get the first points. I don't know how you feel about Brandon, but for me, watching the beginning of the Super Bowl, Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They go play action with Richardson. Tries the right side, finding Woods here. Big strides, look at him go. And down to the 28-yard line. A big play there for Indy. 
52 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash, dropped at the one. A very solid gain of 27. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Colts will add to their first quarter lead. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. He's going to loft one deep left side here. He's got it. Hit the 15. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Colts continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream, one you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Indy set to go on offense once more. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. On first down, Richardson. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. A big play there with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And the Colts are starting to open things up here in this Super Bowl. The Colts now, they're ready to get the football back. Richardson now throwing to start the drive. Throwing left side, it's complete. He's across midfield. He's on his way. Touchdown, Colts. A great play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Colts are starting to pour it out of the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. Pardon me, you know the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. getting ready to go and Charles the name of the game last time efficiency their very first snap they connected for a quick touchdown they get more value than just the points from that series as well only needing one play it keeps the entire offense rested up 
Here's Richardson on first and ten. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Well, they were backed up to start the drive, but how about that aggressiveness? Firing it downfield right away. Nice job there getting out towards what would have been their normal starting position. Richardson throwing on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there. 73 yards. And the Colts continue to pull away here in this first half. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. Richardson out of the shotgun. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. To throw is Richardson on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Looking to throw, Richardson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. Now Richardson from near his goal line. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. A good pick up there. 21 yards. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. Here's Richardson to throw. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. We know he has a lot of confidence in his arm and likes to force it downfield, but the coverage was tight there. Fortunate it wasn't picked off. Second down, here's Richardson. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. 
And Richardson looks to throw once more. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. From the gun, it's Taylor. A.J. Terrell coming up to make the play. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Down the left sideline. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A great play there. 36 yards. And the Colts have taken a six touchdown lead. And those three rushing touchdown games in this league, you know darn well, those are hard to come by. They're becoming even harder to come by as the years go by, aren't they? Isn't that the truth? It doesn't matter what you do in terms of game planning. You may be a run-first team, but you're running against an NFL defense. That's some of the biggest, fastest, best athletes on the planet. Hard to do. Cherish that moment, even as he's eager to add to that total. set to take the field but following the interception they're set up nicely here already inside the red zone knocking on the door if you will first and ten they'll start out here with a jet sweep and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, Parker, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. through three quarters of play. From his own end zone, it's Richardson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And got his man complete. He's got a full head of steam. The race is on. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there. 98 yards. And the Colts continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their... The Colts getting another possession here on offense. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. Hey, 
A little jet sweep to start the drive. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Now he's loose down the left sideline. He may go. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. offense now as they get set to take over and a few kneel downs should just about do it now defensively they do have all three timeouts but very little reason to use them at this point Richardson off the play fake he's gonna let this one go deep and this will be caught at the 30 inside the 20 and he will get into the end zone it's another touchdown this thing is ugly well after another passing touchdown i don't think it'd be an understatement to say that he's in the zone and i believe he likes it offense gets ready to head back on the field now they are really in the driver's seat here enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter the defense does have all three timeouts but at this point doesn't look like it's going to matter much they'll start out here with a jet sweep and some room to work and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And some room to run now. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Richardson looking to throw this. Right side complete. That's Woods. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. love to see scoring and there was no shortage of it today what a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest partner this game was over a long time ago and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense and they took advantage of every second guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.
Yeah. <laughs> 